Hello everyone, thanks for clicking on a driving tour video in our driving tour playlist. Before you watch the, each of these videos, be sure to click on the little gear icon here for settings on YouTube, go to the quality for the playback, and play this in 4K if at all possible. The idea is that you just want to make sure you're watching this in the highest resolution that your internet bandwidth will support so the picture isn't all pixelated. Hey folks, are you interested in the commute between Philomath, Oregon and Corvallis, Oregon? Well, stay tuned because I'm Michael Kreslovsky with Team K Realty at Remax in Corvallis, and today we're filming that commute for you. I'm on the way to Philomath right now, just about getting into Philomath as we speak, and I'm going to show you this before we come back because on the way into Philomath, back home, uh, you've got a great view of Mary's Peak. That is the Sleeping Lady, uh, Mary's Peak, the highest of the coast range, right in front of us with an elevation of about 4,000 feet. And now we're going to pick up in just a moment coming back from Philomath uh, because I want to show you what that will look like going from West Philomath into downtown Corvallis. Stay tuned. Okay, so now we're time warping, and this is what your commute looks like coming home from Corvallis if you're in Philomath. Right around here, we get into town. We just passed College Street as it veers off to the right with the big Welcome to Philomath sign. There's the Dairy Queen, Subway Sandwich Shop, Philomath Liquor Store, CrossFit. Got some shopping on the left. Great eateries on the right. We got La Roquita Mexican food. We've got Dizzy Hen, which is super tasty breakfasts. We've got a brew pub there, a bunch of great little stuff. And this is Philomath. Philomath is basically a divided highway. There's not really a traditional walkable downtown, but there's some great neighborhoods off to the side. So we're pointed west and in fast motion, we're now at the end of town already. Poof, we just turned north on 7th. We're in a residential neighborhood, turning left on Pioneer right about there. And these are my old stomping grounds. I used to live right around here. And now we're going up the hill in West Philomath into Starlight Summit and we'll get to the top of Starlight Summit and get a view there for a moment and then actually show you narrated driving tour back into Corvallis from Philomath at normal speed. So hope you enjoy this video. All right, folks, back in action. We are now in West Philomath at the top of the hill in Starlight Summit, and we are going to show the commute back into downtown Corvallis. From this spot, it is probably 15 minutes max, and we are in West Philomath, kind of the far end. So we are starting here in Starlight Summit, and this is a lovely neighborhood of very new construction. They're still building a little bit in here, um, and you can get some beautiful homes with open concept, you know, architecture as you'd expect with new construction and great valley views. Uh, West Philomath has this neighborhood and East Philomath has Benton View. So Philomath is kind of bookended with two neighborhoods that just have outstanding views from the tops of the hills. That is Mary's Peak right ahead of us there. It's a beautiful spot. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go down the hill and then through Pioneer and 7th Street in Philomath, hop right onto the main drag in Philomath, which is essentially a divided highway, Philomath Boulevard, and then just go east into the southwest corner of Corvallis. It is a lovely October day. If this worked beautifully, then we managed to film two commutes in one day, or at least two drive tours in one day. So you'll notice I'm wearing the same clothes as in one of the others in this playlist. This neighborhood right here, you've got lots of freestanding single family homes and then also duplexes and townhomes that are kind of over on College Street uh, a little bit further down the hill. I've got a bunch of clients and friends that live in this neighborhood. My wife and I, in fact, used to live in this neighborhood ourselves and we have since turned that house into a rental property because that's kind of our thing. And this neighborhood was always good to us. It's been a nice place. So that was Pioneer, and this is now 7th Street in Philomath. And that road right up ahead, that is Philomath Boulevard, also known as Main Street, apparently, in Philomath. If you're watching a bunch of my videos, you'll notice that a lot of streets have two or even three different names, because that just makes life fun. So Philomath basically ends immediately to our right. The very last thing to the right here is the Woodsman Thai food restaurant, and that is worth checking out. Uh, oh my gosh, great Thai menu, great American menu there too, but barely anyone ever orders off of it. 
Um, and it's kind of like an old dive bar. It used to be like a loggers bar. There's pictures of old guys cutting down gigantic trees and six foot long chainsaws hanging from the ceiling and amazing Thai food. We've got a lot of great places to eat in the Mid Valley. The surrounding five or six counties have a ton of agriculture, so the food is really fresh, high quality, and just super tasty. And now we are on Main Street in Philomath. Think of Philomath as a speed trap. You'll notice the speed limit signs here are 25 miles per hour. I don't mind telling you, I drive about 29 consistently, and I never get pulled over, but people driving faster than me do. <laughs> so there you go. All right, so we are heading east on Main Street. This is Philomath Boulevard. You've got, let's see, public services. You've got a you know, fire station off to the left, police off to the right. You've got the Philomath Community Library off to the right. Benton County, which we are in, has a great library system. Love those resources here in town. Got some pet places, barber shops, post office, medical offices, dentists. You know, it's a great little, just small town, about 5,000 people. In many ways, this is becoming a bedroom community for Corvallis. A lot of my clients that live in Philomath work in Corvallis. Not all, but a lot of them. And if you're interested in seeing kind of a mid-valley overview, kind of like a video on Corvallis versus Philomath versus Albany, check out the one here. We'll put a card on the screen that we did earlier. Up ahead on the right, you'll see a sign that says barbecue. That is Eats and Treats Barbecue, and they are rocking. We love that place. That is Philomath's favorite barbecue. Uh, that whole restaurant also happens to be gluten-free. And we've got, in this plaza off to the right, Mary's Peak True Value Lumber and Hardware. We've got Vinwood Tap House, uh, Ixtapa Mexican Restaurant, the Philomath branch of the Benton County Schools Credit Union, and last but not least, Marcote Distilling Company. They are making local moonshine with lots of different flavors and it is tasty. We didn't see it going this direction, but going the other direction right here on Main Street in Philomath, there's also the Dizzy Hen, which is a really great local restaurant. Uh, love their breakfasts. That's one of my favorite breakfasts ever. Uh, and then we also have Dirt Road Brewing Company. Big shout out to them. Uh, they're doing a great job and they now have pizzas and hand pies and some really good sour beers there too. Right around here, you'll see our two lanes merged together to one as we start to exit Philomath and just get to the space that's kind of in between Philomath and Corvallis. I'm going to guess that it is about eight minutes from Starlight Summit to the southwest corner of Corvallis based on my previous commutes and probably another six or so minutes from the southwest corner of Corvallis to downtown. This is not the only way to go. There are kind of shortcuts through the back, <laughs> through the back roads, that is. Uh, but this shows you the main commute on Philomath Boulevard. If we were going to keep going the opposite direction, if we were going to go west on Philomath Boulevard, we would pass through Philomath, say hi to the Thai food restaurant on the way out, and if you keep going about another 45 minutes, you hit Newport, Oregon. You just end up right on the coast. You don't even have to make a single turn. It's close enough that you can just go to the chowder bowl for lunch and then come back. All right. Off to the right in about the two o'clock position. Doesn't look like anything from here, but this is the East Hills that are bookending the east side of Philomath, where Benton View and those neighborhoods are. And those are the other homes I mentioned that also have great views of the valley. Philomath's a great opportunity to get a little bit more space around you with a little bit of a better cost of living, a little bit more of an advantage there than if you're living directly in Corvallis. And Benton County schools are very well funded, so you've got great schools in Philomath too. You'll notice adjacent to Philomath Boulevard, we have got that paved biking path and walking path. 
that goes all the way in from Philomath into downtown Corvallis and is part of a trail network that we talk a little bit more about in our other videos too. And right around here, we're basically getting into southwest Corvallis. So we haven't quite hit that actual corner of town yet, but you've got Fitness Over 50, you have Chenard's Nursery. We love them. My wife used to work there. Great garden center as well as landscaping and design division. They do all sorts of, you know, hardscaping, water features, pergolas, retaining walls. They are top notch. And they're a great family to work for too. So big shout out to them, even though this video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. Got some assisted living off to the left. Well, I'm at Springs Memory Care. And that traffic light up ahead, that is the southwest corner of town as it looks, as it appears on the map. So that's the southwest corner of Corvallis where Philomath Boulevard hits 53rd Street. On beautiful days in the spring and summertime, this spot can be a bit busy on the weekends, especially if there's a lot of people coming back from spending time on the coast. So that's when you usually, you know, take a back road to avoid this intersection. Um, it can also be a little bit busy, of course, on football game days, but that's everywhere. So you just put that on your calendar and avoid downtown or this particular spot <laughs> as we get in between here and campus. So here's 53rd Street. We have the shop Sunset Center right here, shopping center with grocery store, Safeway, and Buy Mart Dry Goods, and a bunch of little restaurants and other shops. Blue Sky Chinese food on the left, great place. Try their bok choy. Oh my goodness, their bok choy and mushrooms. It's kind of funny, when I first moved to Corvallis in 2008, I remember being in this neighborhood, going to that Safeway, and filling up at the gas station and being like, is, is this Philomath? Where am I? And they're like, no, no, this is the southwest corner of Corvallis. Oh, okay. Good to know. To the left, we have Legend at Sylvia. There's still a couple of townhomes left for sale there. Uh, Legend is a builder in the area. They do a great job, and Sylvia is one of their... Uh, little construction developments, developments, neighborhoods. That's the word I'm looking for. They also have Legend at Russell Gardens, which is on the other corner of 53rd Street as we entered Southwest Corvallis. Off to the right, which you can't see from here, are the Country Club and the Country Club surrounding neighborhoods. There's a beautiful hill, uh, white side, with you know, a bunch of great neighborhoods up there. Um, 35th Street, which is this intersection right here, has Adams Elementary School, very sought after public elementary school, just a block south of the intersection, basically. And the 509J uh, Corvallis Public School District offices are right there as well. If you would like to see an in-depth narrated driving tour of Corvallis neighborhoods. Check out our video on that. We'll link it in the description below and we'll put a card on the screen right here. It's about an hour and 45 minutes if I recall correctly and we get to actually take you through lots of neighborhoods in all four quadrants of town. Off to the right, again, you've got that paved biking path and walking path that connects all the way into downtown Corvallis, even from Philomath. And ahead of us, you'll notice that there's actually a logging truck carrying another logging truck, kind of piggyback style. Uh, Philomath has a very big history and is still very active in the timber industry. Uh, this is one of the major agricultural resources of the area, is timber and logging and lumber and Christmas trees. Um, so Georgia Pacific, for example, actually does have an active mill in West Philomath, just a tiny bit outside of where we were when I was talking about the Thai food restaurant. Campus is to the left. It's just north of Philomath Boulevard, where we are right now. Depending on the angle and the trees, you might be able to see Reeser Stadium or the track facilities. Those are all right there. A 
Avery Park is off to the right, one of the many great public parks and green spaces. Wonderful rose garden there, and fun dinosaur bones and a train for the kids to play on. All right. And if we were going to bypass downtown Corvallis and, for example, just, you know, head over towards I-5, we would turn, or rather, we would keep going straight there and bypass downtown. We're going to take this right into Corvallis. I'm going to go back to my office. And so we're taking this kind of um, off-ramp here. And by this whole underpass overpass setup, uh, this is actually pretty cool. There is a big kids skate park there and a fenced in dog park. So way to go Corvallis doing something useful with the area beneath an overpass. We are in downtown. That was third street for just a moment. So kind of highway 99 unzipped. And now we are just in downtown Corvallis connecting with the bottom of 2nd Street. And I'm going to end the video here as I get back to my office at Remax. So folks, if you have any suggestions for future videos, future narrated driving tours, specific neighborhoods you want to see, leave them in the comments below. We do check that stuff. and really appreciate your feedback. And if I can be a resource for you as a local real estate agent, give me a shout. I run my business out of the Remax office in Corvallis. It's called Team K Realty. Appreciate you checking this out. Thanks for taking the time and bye for now. Thank you.